What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does, from Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Laura. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. But then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice. Rocky crags. Savage winds. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualamec. That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? What's up, guys? DK, it's finally time to LP the Tomb Raider series. Each and every single Tomb Raider game, starting with the original one, of course. I promised you guys a long time ago that I was going to do this. I kind of been holding off on it, but now I'm finally going to get to it. Uh, the way this LP is going to work is um, I'm going to... For Tomb Raider 1 and Tomb Raider Anniversary, since they're practically the same games, just their anniversary is a remake, of course. I'm going to LP those games in the same LP. The first part of the movie is going to be the original game, and the second part of the movie is going to be the remake of it. So, for the first game, the, every movie is going to be like an hour, maybe even two hours long, because I'm, I'm going to do both games in, in, in the movie. Hey, dogs. This game came out in 1996, I believe. It was 95, I don't know. And I think that this was like one of the very first 3D games. And I think this is also when the when women started becoming sex symbols in games. Because as, as you clearly see, her boobs are really huge. <laughs> Alright, the game that started it all, Tomb Raider. Let's go over the basic controls. Triangle, your weapons. X, fire your weapons. She has infinite ammo, so I'm not wasting it. Uh, square, you jump. Uh, the forward goes forward. The back steps back. The left do a little 360 turn. In other games, uh, the controls are slightly different, but it's basically a sling. Circle does a little spin kick. I mean, a, a little spin turn around. In other games, sh uh, she can like jump forward and do a little flip, but not in this game. She can't sprint, unfortunately. Hold the uh, hold the R1 button and press forward to walk. The only purpose of this is to watch her sexy walk, of course. And well, it's not sexy now, but back then it was it was pretty damn sexy, of course. If you hold it while you're going backwards, you'll do a little step back. The main reason why you're doing this is because uh, you're trying to like line up to like make jumps and stuff like that. Uh, side stepping in two middle one is is the L2 and the R2. That's how you step. That's how you, how you, how you, how you sidestep in 2 and 1. And 2 and 3 and above, it was changed, but we'll go over that when we get to those games. Uh, a very traditional thing about Lara is uh, she always has her infinite pistols. Her guns have infinite ammo. The one exception, I believe, unfortunately, was Tomb Raider and Angel of Darkness, which my best friend, AJ, he hates that game. Damn you, AJ! That's, that game is not bad. <laughs> Uh, but other than that, she always has infinite uh, ammo. All you gotta do is just, just run through that. I don't know why I was jumping. If you, if you run straight, you uh, you uh, won't get hit. When Lara looks up, 
like that, the game is practically telling you where you need to go and, and, and stuff like that. I guess I won't go over all the basics. You'll uh, discover that as you're playing the game, I guess. You're going to have to or you're not going to survive. This is the very first secret in the history of Tomb Raider. One of many. One of many. Aha! You're going to hear her say that a lot in Tomb Raider 2, so get used to it. Just jump down like this. That's your very first secret, a health pack. Alright, where do I go again? I forgot already, damn. Which way? Where's... Oh, I, I gotta go back up here and climb the thing. Okay. Uh, let me tell you guys uh, something right now. If you do not like puzzle games, don't play this shit. Because, uh, unfortunately, I mean, it's not a bad game, but the game is nothing but puzzles. And I mean puzzles, 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 and more fucking puzzles! The old stuff... The old school two ready games, and no, I'm not forgetting about this uh, this uh, secret now here. The old two ready games is nothing but fucking puzzles. You need this key to get that key, and you need that key to get this key, and you need this key to get that key. Now you got to now you got to take that key all the way back to the beginning of the level, and so on and so on and so forth. All right, uh, you see this jump right here? A lot of people get confused on this one. This jump here is just slightly out of her reach. You can't not just simply jump up and grab it. The way this particular jump works is you have to stand on the wall and press the action button like that. Somehow that magically makes her jump just a little higher. Why that is, I don't know. You will rarely use that. I have to admit that it does uh, come in handy, but damn bat die. As I was saying. Uh-huh. You will rarely use that feature, but it's there, so... No reason not to, but mm, just jump down like that. Oh, fuck, I missed. Uh, unfortunately, Lara can indeed fall to her death, and this will happen a lot while playing Tomb Raider, so get used to it. Um, in all honesty, in my opinion, the hardest Tomb Raider game is Tomb Raider 3. And where the fuck am I going? Oh, this the way. Tomb Raider 3 is just hard because as soon as the game starts, it's just, just nothing but death, 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 death puzzles. Once again, guys, I will indeed be LPing every, and I mean every Tomb Raider game, Tomb Raider 1, Tomb Raider 2, Tomb Raider 3, Tomb Raider 4, Last Revelations, Tomb Raider 5 Chronicles, Tomb Raider 6, Angel of Darkness, Tomb Raider Legend, Tomb Raider Anniversary, Tomb Raider Underworld, and Tomb Raider, uh, the new one on PS3. I won't, I won't, uh, I won't LP the one, uh, that you have to download on the little 3D screen when the dudes, uh, run around with you. And I won't LP the um, the Game Boy games because I don't see a point to playing those. Really, they're just like 2D versions of these games, so really ain't ain't a point in playing it. In case you're wondering, my favorite Tomb Raider game is Tomb Raider Legend. I have Tomb Raider Legend on almost every system that it came on, and believe it or not, guys, Tomb Raider Legend is actually on GameCube. Whether or not it was it was fan made, but I actually have a GameCube copy of Tomb Raider, and it plays perfectly fine. I didn't know that that thing actually existed, but I have one on GameCube. Tomb Raider Legend, it, uh, unfortunately, it's the it's the shortest Tomb Raider game, but it's the best one. Well, I haven't played the new one yet, but where the fuck am I going? Oh, up here. Tomb Raider Legend is, 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 is just, it's just it's just fun, man. I love it. Tomb Raider Underworld was a big d disappointment. The game, I mean, it's 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 not a bad game, but it does have some some flaws. Hate fucking dogs. Tomb Raider Underworld doesn't even have a final boss to kill. It doesn't even have a final boss. What what game nowadays doesn't have a final boss? Oh well. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of them, but it shouldn't be Tomb Raider. Alright, kill those mutts. Now we gotta go up. Uh, which way do I go again? So, yes, th this is gonna be a very long, and I mean a long LP, because unfortunately these... The first five Tomb Raider games just 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 fucking puzzle happy, and you're gonna be backtracking a lot. And I don't see how it's possible for somebody to pass these games back in the old days when we were little kids without guidance. It's 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 it's, it's just it's just so tedious sometimes. The only reason why us guys played this game when we were kids because we wanted to watch Laura uh, run, of course, because you know she was a really sexy girl back then. Nowadays these graphics are completely out class. But they're still not too bad. 
Jump across the bridge. That damn sound is so annoying on my PS3. I guess I need to let it rest. It's telling me, hey man, you had me on all day, man. I need to sleep. Okay, we're getting ready to fight a bear, if memory serves me. But before I jump down, there's actually a medicine pack around here somewhere. And it might not be a bad idea to pick that. Now see, when you're stepping when you're when you're stepping like, stepping like, like that, you're like lining up to make jump stuff like that. Uh, normally, normally when you're making a long jump, you, you're gonna step back like this, then you're gonna run and press the square button to all make it jump. Uh, unfortunately, later on in the game and in the series, for, for that matter, your your jumps are gonna have to be 100% precise. Otherwise, it's gonna result into you falling to your death or falling to a pit full of enemies and stuff like that. Mess mm. pet was my health, half health, health. Okay, now the way saving works in this game is uh. Oh, what's the fucking say, Crystal? Oh, there it is. The way saving works in this game is, uh, you, you go and save in certain spots where, where these little, uh, where these little, uh, blue things are. Which is very, very unfortunate, but come on, it came out in 1996. I mean, seriously. And once you use it, it's gone. Finito. Bye bye. Alright, let's jump down here. And kill the fucking bear, your first big enemy of the series. Just a few pistol rounds, and he'll be out here before you know it. I guess now would be a good time to use one of these uh, medicine packs I got. Yeah. Okie dokie, you kill the bear. Uh, which way I go again? Oh, there's a bat over here. Come on, I, I just killed a bear. What do you think that bat's gonna do to me, seriously? It's supposed to be a lever around here somewhere. Another bat. Die, fucker. Uh, oh, here we go. Your reason for doing this, believe it or not, is just to get this, um, this, uh, medicine pack. That's really the only reason why you, why you came down here. But, a lot of people got confused, uh, confused about, about this one at first. A lot of people, a lot of people seem to think that this, that medicine pack is actually, uh, one of the secrets. But the reason for this is because uh, in in some of the old guys, the guys actually said that that's the secret, but it's 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 not a secret. When you hear that little that little chime thing, that bring, that means you found a secret. Oh, fuck. Uh, the only point of the only purpose of secrets is like you know get like more ammo and stuff. In, in some games, it unlocks. Like extra costumes and stuff like that, like uh, two minute legend, two minute anniversary. You find artifacts and you get like extra costumes and shit, but you know, that's really the only thing you do it in this game. However, the only reason why you want to do it is to get like more medicine packs, which pretty, probably really isn't needed because the game has more than enough ammo to kill that thing. And two minute two, however, I recommend you get each and every single secret because the secrets in two minute two would give you a lot, and I mean a lot of ammo. And as you can see, uh, you can tell by the way I'm running, I'm a little rusty here, I'm running side by side because uh. I've been playing. I I haven't played. Ooh, how long has it been since I played this game? Ugh. Man, I never thought I'd play this game again, but I gotta do it. Ah, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, damn, I missed my jump. Let me go back. See, I I was in a hurry and I missed my jump. Let's go back. All right, and we're back. Uh, anyways, I was getting ready to say I couldn't pick a better. I couldn't think of a better time to LP this series because the. The new Tomb Raider game came out on PS3, of course, and for many people, that's probably going to be like the. Is there something over here? No. For many people, that's probably going to be like their very first Tomb Raider game, and they might want to experience the the old the old games. You know, visit the old the, the, the good old days back when I was a kid. But like I said, if you there should be some dogs here to kill. If you don't like puzzles, don't play this shit. And there's the kick-ass music. Okay, I kind of messed up. I went, I went inside that um, I went inside that door too early, but I don't want to go in there yet. That door right there is the way out. Uh, you're timed on that door, so it will close on you eventually. But I don't want to go there yet. There's a, I want to go over here first. This is where the final secret is for this level. It's it's hidden pretty good. You gotta go here and go in here. This is where the secret is. You hear that? 
that that chime. This is the secret. The very first large mesen pack of the series. Believe me, every time you see one of these, you're gonna get very very happy. And in case you haven't figured it, figured this out by now, this is how you restore your health. A uh, small mesen pack is a uh, healthy health, and a uh, large mesen pack is all you have, of course. All right, now we. I think this level has three secrets, right? I think that's all of them. If I miss one, I'll probably play it. I can. I like replay the level and get it off screen. That's a good thing about the first two minute game. It has a uh, re replay value because after you beat the game, you can like play in love you want to and um, like infinite ammo and stuff like that. The game, this game, doesn't have a lot of weapons, but oh, but it has more than enough firepower to kill everything. Fucking dinosaurs and goddamn aliens that drop their butt on you and shit. Damn. Alright, you are timed on that door. Just simply uh, jump back, run forward, jump. Don't jump too far, you'll land up. Oh, fuck. Okay, I appear to be extremely rusty. I don't know how I didn't make that. That. Damn, air conditioner. All these disturbances. As I was saying, I appear to be extremely rusty here. I don't know how I didn't make that that jump in time. I guess I'm supposed to stand here and do a little standing jump so I land on the platform. Now I just step up, run forward, jump like this without grabbing anything, and there we go. That door closes on you automatically, so once you go in, there's no going out. Let's keep on moving. We're not done just yet. Should be another bear popping up. Where's the bear? Oh, wolf. I'm, I might be thinking of, of, of the second level. I know that I'm going to fight a lot of bears real soon. Whoa! That's not good. Yes, uh, that's another thing that's going to be happening a lot. Like little pitfalls and stuff like that. Unfortunately, later on, it usually leads to your death. So just... Yes, if, if you want to play these old school Tomb Raider games... Get ready to die a lot. You're going to be dying over and over and over and over again. And normally, this wouldn't be a problem. But you see, unfortunately... Uh, where the fuck am I going? In Tomb Raider 3, it's a huge problem. And we'll talk about that when we get to it. Speaking of Tomb Raider 3, I'm guessing uh, that your next question is... How the hell did I get into Tomb Raider? Well, uh, it's a long, and I mean a long story if you can't hear about it. What the hell? I'm going to talk about it anyway. I got, I got nothing to talk about. Uh, back when I was... Oh, fuck. I missed a jump. Damn it. I missed my fucking jump. I pressed the square button too soon before running um, and, and making the jump list. I, I haven't played this game since a long time. It's just going to have to come back to me. Fortunately, I can go back up. Uh, I want to go up there because... Um, no, I gotta go that way to get out of here. Sadly. Anyway, uh, back when I was in high school, um, I got I got a pizza from uh, Pizza Hut, and they gave out free. Uh, was it Pizza Hut or was it Papa John's? I think it was Papa John's pizza. I don't know. It was, it, it was either Pizza Hut or Papa John's pizza, and they were giving out this. Uh, Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut, it, it was Pizza Hut. They were giving out, um, they were giving out discs that had, um, that had, uh, demo games on it. And one of those games had a demonstration of, uh, Tomb Raider 3. And the Area 51. And guess what? I still have it. Yes, I still have that CD. Did you ever think you would see one of these again? I still have it. <laughs> I played the demo of Tomb Raider 3 in that game. I absolutely loved it, and that's how I got into the Tomb Raider series. So, to that end, Tomb Raider 3 was my very first Tomb Raider game. I should have picked a bad one to pick up on, didn't I? Because that shit was fucking hard. Uh, that CD is also the very reason why I play uh, Metal Gear Solid. Because uh, Metal Gear Solid was on that disc, too.
pull the fucking leaf. Thank you. I am so terribly sorry that I'm like really sucky right now. I'm, I I haven't played this game in about ten years. It's just gonna have to come back to me. I don't know if you actually timed on that door. I don't think you are. Oh well, let's go. And that, my friends, is the end of the first level. Okay, so what happens now is we're going to play this very same level in Anniversary. Alright guys, as I was saying, the way this LP is going to work is for the first game, I'm going to do the original game and the remake in one single LP. And as you can clearly see, I am playing this on the, on the PS3 version. I do indeed have just about every version of this, but I'm going to play the one on PS3 for the high graphics, of course, and the... Um, and the trophies naturally. Underworld is Underworld is okay. It just has some flaws and it. it was kinda disappointing, but it's it's not a bad game, it's just a little disappointing, that's all. This is actually in my opinion still the best one, Two Man Legend. This this game is just, just really, really fun. But unfortunately it's gonna be a while before we get to that, because I'm gonna play these in order in the you know storyline. If you don't got the new one on PS3, of course, I'm saving that for last. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is kinda hoarse, I just woke up. <clears throat> it's got something stuck in my throat or something. I don't know. Uh, unfortunately, guys, while I'm playing Two Middle um, Anniversary and Two Middle Legend, it's gonna be rather, rather difficult to stay focused. And for those of you who haven't seen this game yet, once I once I start playing, it'll be clearly obvious why. All right, two minute anniversary. As, as I said, this is a this is a full remake of the original game. It's basically the story of the first game, but it has the gameplay of Two Minute Legend. And uh, her boobs uh, jiggle right there. If you wait for a few seconds. <laughs> okay, now we're ready. Yes, unfortunately, I I had to um I had to delete my save file of this game, but I only did the, I only did, like did the first level anyway. Uh, don't worry guys, I played this game before, so, you know. Uh, as for the controls, uh, this will show you what every, every control thing does, so instead of me telling you what everything does, you, you can read this and learn yourself. It's basically just like, uh, Two Minute Legend. It's just slightly different, but oh well. Anyway, let's get started. Two Minute Anniversary. And I've never actually done this on the hard level before. I played it on the regular level, but not the hard level. Well, this time we're going to try the hard level. Let's just uh, watch the cutscene here without any interruptions. Now, what's a man got to do to get that sort of attention from you? If that's the sort of attention you want, Larson, you're well on your way. Sounds like fun, but I'm only here to make an introduction. Lara Croft, meet Jacqueline Natla of Natla Technologies. Good afternoon, Miss Croft. My research department has recently turned its focus to the study of ancient artifacts, and I'm led to believe that with the right incentive, you're just the woman to find them for me. I'm afraid you've been misled. I only play for sport. Which is precisely why I've come to you, Miss Croft. This is a game you've played before, with your father. You both spent years searching for the Skion of Atlantis. All you needed was the location of Qualopex tomb. You found Vilcabamba. How quickly can you get to Peru? All right, here we go. This game is actually very, very fun. I think you'll enjoy it. Vilcabamba continues to elude us. And my insistence that we press on in spite of these failures has morale low. I suspect Jenkins to be the author of this sedition. He simply refuses to accept the possibility that Atlantis is the foundation upon which all known civilizations were built. Increasingly, I find it is Lara alone who remains untainted by academic dogma and open minded to see this truth.
All right. Unfortunately, unlike the original game, the cutscene doesn't do it for you. You have to go up there by yourself. The purpose of this is to, is to teach you how to play the game. I recommend that you pay attention to all these um all these uh these, these are god things here. Come on, get ah uh, fuck. Yeah, uh, for some reason her jumping isn't as what the main grab off. Oh, fuck that shit. It'll be a lot better if you if you if if you, if you have the main grab off. Cause you can do that when she jumps, she'll grab it automatically. It, it, trust me, it, it's it's a lot better if you do a uh, no main grab. Fuck that shit, man. I guess there are sometimes where you're not gonna want to grab, but trust me, it's a lot better if you if you got the um, the main grab off. Cause if you don't do, it, you're gonna fall a lot. All right, this game is just fun, fun, fun. The the controls are just are just so perfect. When I first um, saw my friend play this game, I was like, "Man, this, this shit looks hard, man." But 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 the controls are just are just so perfect. It's really easy to use. All right, we're not quite done yet. We have to go up there so the dude can uh, you know go in and get killed by the wolves, of course. If I can remember how to get up there, I go this way. Yes, this is a. This is a full remake of the of the original game. It's, it's really really good. I think you'll enjoy it. Up here. And me and my best friend actually had a had had a contest in this game one time, but he stopped playing it because he has more life responsibilities <laughs> than I do. <laughs> I have nothing better to do than sit on my ass and play my video games, unfortunately. And we know what happens now, of course. Now, unlike the original Tomb Raider game, unfortunately, you can't just sit back and watch every cutscene. Just like Resident 4, Resident 5, Resident 6, of course, <laughs> you have to pay you have to pay attention because there's a um, there's a few quick time events in this game. And if you fail, then you'll uh, die. Speaking of dying in this game, it isn't like the other, the other Tomb Raider games. When you die, you aren't like forced to go back to the very beginning. So that you'll start at the last checkpoint, which is very helpful. Alright guys, as I said, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> it's going to be very, very difficult for me to stay focused while playing this game, and uh, this is why. This girl is just, just sexy, I mean, Lara Croft is just, Lara Croft is amongst one of the top 10 hottest video game girls in existence. I mean, this girl is just really, really sexy. Okay, you press circle to roll while, while you're doing this, I mean... It's it's really really basic controls. There's just so many things that you can do in this game. It's gonna seem very very confusing, but trust me, the controls in this game are just are just perfectly well. All right. Oh fuck! Don't wanna do that. As I said, this is a a remake of the original game, but there are a lot of new features in it. A lot of uh, damn, a lot of new areas, and sometimes, sometimes unfortunately, jumping is hard. It's like you have to be in like a, the exact precise spot for her to jump. Maybe this only counts if, if you're doing a, a main grab. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. But you got to jump. There we go. Okay. Jump. Now this jump's a little tricky. There's a slide coming up. Remember, so it's me. Go this way. There should be a slide. Not yet, huh? There it is right there. There's a slide. It's just jump right here and there's our first artifact the secrets in this game are, are artifacts uh, there, there are no like like secret ammo I mean there's a lot of ammo in the game but you don't get like ammo from, from secrets and stuff like that alright go this way shimmy across here once again, guys, uh, I'm 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 not gonna bother explaining what all what all the, all the controls do because the game will tell you that automatically, as you see. 
R1 is, is shooting. And just like the original game, her her, her ammo is uh, infinite, fortunately. And for some reason, I think I'm actually playing and playing the, 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 the original game. This is where you would go to play the original game, but there's nothing over here in, in this version. Ashley, isn't there still a hop? Isn't there still a, a mess pack over here? Uh, damn it! Yeah, see, there, there's still a, a mess pack over here, right there. But it's a lost missing pack, and it, and it's not a secret. I know that it does. Uh, how you reload again? There we go, triangle, triangle reloads. Okay. And believe it or not, guys, in this game, the pistols is actually more than enough to beat anything in this game. You can beat the final boss using only your pistols. And it's not difficult at all. Uh, unfortunately, guys, you will quickly notice that it doesn't take much to kill Lara in this game. I'm talking about the, um, the jumping. The slightest, the slightest jump can, the slightest jump can kill Lara in this game. Hold triangle, then press up while you're on the rope. Go back and forth to swing back and forth. It's really, it's really basic. It's gonna seem hard at first, but trust me, the controls in this game work really, really well. Okay, there's a ledge. It's kind of hard to see, but you, you can actually jump on this ledge right here. Jump. Uh, what the hell? Okay, that was some kind of glitch. Just uh, jump up here. Go this way. Turn around behind you. There's no list right here. Go this way. Uh, jump down there and hold the triangle button so you don't fall to your death. This way. Turn around. Jump. Grab that. And here's another artifact. Give me. Uh, unfortunately, guys, you will die in this game a lot. That's th that's just the way it is. I'm supposed to drop down there, but the fall is so steep it'll it'll kill her. As I said, yeah, you will quickly discover that it does not take a big fall to kill Lara in this game. And that's that's very, very un unfortunate. Just the, just the slightest fall. And you know what, guys? Back when I was playing Tomb Raider 3 and Tomb Raider 4, Last Revelation for the first time, I used to think that Lara Croft died more than any video game character in existence. Until I played a game called Ninja Gaiden. Fuck that game. I mean, it's a good game, but man, fucking level 6-2. I thought I would never pass that shit. And then I get to the final boss, I had to do it all over again. Man, seriously. I'm gonna go down, down, down. See that? I, I took damage from that that little fall. I don't know if the different difficulties uh, to determine if you take more damage from falls and stuff like that. I don't know. Cause I told you, this, this is indeed the first time I played this game on the hard, on the hard uh, mode. In fact, I haven't played this game in such a long time. I'm gonna be streaming Rusty, so you're just gonna have to... I mean, I, I pretty much know what to do, but I probably forget something every now and then. But as far as as far as the controls, I'm gonna be a little rusty for for a while. I have a video that I made a, a while back showing every every relic and every artifact in this game. It, it was the first video that I made um, when YouTube had like all those super upgrades and stuff like that. So. Like when you two went went HD, I think that was like the first video I made when it went HD, but it wasn't an HD video. Damn dogs. The combat in this game isn't difficult at all, really. I tell you your your pistols are more than enough to kill anything, as you will quickly see while you're playing this game. The only time I use powerful ammo is, is like if I'm like low on health and I wanna kill something really, really quickly and stuff like that. Alright, just like the rest of the game, we're gonna go this way, up here. Alright, now here's where things start to get a lot different than they were in, in, in the rest of the game. See this? Instead of just uh, jumping across, now we got a rope. How about that? Of course, there's a bear down there, and there's your missing pack that was in the rest of the game. But we can't just just run over and pick it up. We gotta swing to it. Just back and forth. Back uh, come on now. Swing. 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 And jump, jump, 
Jump and there's our missing pack. All right. Oh fuck! I missed the rope. And there's a bear, 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 oh, fucking bear. Uh, press the quick recover. Yeah, I know. Uh, looks like I take a lot of damage. Fuck. Okay, yeah, the uh, the hard difficulty is definitely gonna be hard. I see that already. That that bear actually killed me in two hits. That bear did did like half my health with 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 with, with uh, one attack. So this is definitely gonna be a difficult LP. But I refuse to LP a game unless I'm playing it on the hardest difficulty. And to that end, guys, when I get to the Kingdom Hearts game, Kingdom Hearts 2, I will indeed be playing the the critical mode, which will be my first time playing on critical. Damn it! Fuck. There we go. I told you I haven't played this game in, in such a long time. It's, it's, it's have to come back to me. There we go. All right. Got that bear out of the way. And now for a little backtracking. There's your third artifact, and I think, yeah, I think that's all of them. Here's another messing pack. Get it. Uh, dying in this game isn't so bad unless you really, really care about perfect runs and like when you're recording or, or something like that. Because uh, when you die, uh, you come back at full health and you keep everything that, that, that you had in, in your inventory before you die. So it's it's actually pretty helpful sometimes. Which I'm probably going to be spamming in this hard mode because you, you just take way too much damage when you get hit. I took half my health from, from one bear claw. Fuck that. Which is rightfully, you know, so, but I guess you're, you're, you're supposed to go over there and jump down to, to avoid taking damage. Alright. Is there another mess pack over here? Like the original game? Nope. I haven't played such a long time. In all honesty, if you want to know the truth, I should have passed this stage two times by now. Like, when you're doing speed runs, this game has, this game has, has like speed run uh, stuff like that. But when you're doing speed runs, you you want to just, just keep going without picking up the artifacts because once you pick up an artifact, it's it's picked up forever and ever and ever. You don't ever have to pick it up again. Which is one of the main reasons why um, I haven't played this game yet on PS3 because unfortunately it saves automatically and you know. All right. You can like crouch and do all this, but no thank you. I'll just zip through it like this. But as you see, you take a lot of damage in this mode. Damn! Goodness gracious. It's almost damage I, I, I took from that. Okay, I guess I can't just be completely reckless in this hard mode. Die! Damn, dogs hate dogs. All right, let's just go this way now. Jump on this. Go, baby. Yes. 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 All right. This game's fun, man. A lot of action in this game. Did I get him? Oh, fuck. Where you come from? Mutt. Die, fucker. All right. Reload. Should be a mess pack right here somewhere. Or maybe I'm, I'm thinking of the original game. I think I am thinking of the original game. <laughs> okay, we have to do this. Grab that. Okay, you are on a timer. What we gotta do now is, uh, is we have to go over here. I know that. I know that. Time still goes down while we're in cutscenes. I know what to do. I played this game before. We gotta just go up here and go this way and grab it like this. Hold it down, and that opens that. Ah, uh, where's the fucking? Oh.
and that, my friends, is the first level for the most part. But we're not gonna leave just yet. Let's do a little backtracking. Okay, what we gotta do now is we gotta go here, do like this. We gotta grab that, and as soon as you grab it, you have to jump. See that? As soon as you, as soon as you, uh, you grab that pole, you have to press the jump button so she goes over here. Now I gotta grab that pole over there. Go over here. You gotta grab that little, that little spot right there, that little two feet ledge. See it? Yeah, the um, most of the artifacts are hidden pretty damn well. This one's at the end of the level. Like this, up there, and there's your artifact. The killer whale ball, I think that's where it is. Alright. The killer whale bottle. Every time you get one of these, uh, you, you like unlock a special costume for her. I believe this one unlocks her, her legend outfit. If memory serves me. Alright guys, and that is the first level. Stay tuned for the next one. See you guys later. Take it easy. Damn, this girl is so sexy.